Right now, where are we? Let me see. Oh, geez, here we go. We are at guess. Take a guess. Where are we? Leave in the comments. Take a guess, real fast. Five, four, three, two. One. No cheating, either. No cheating. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at right now? I'll give y'all a hint right there. There's the hint. That's it. You guys have seen it. You know exactly where we're at. We're at the real. McCoy Ranch. Yes, sir. We are. Look at that. You see that little, you see that book down there? Hey, zoom in. Right here. Oh, on the yeah, there you I, go. I don't know. Look at that book. Don't miss out on opportunities like that. No. Don't miss. Don't miss. But also, before we get too far into this vlog slash hunting video, go pick up some 4B merch. Look, look at this other color that Dylan's wearing here. Tan. In the front, which they call this a khaki brown or khaki tan and coffee brown in the back. Go pick these up. Look here. Red and gray. And also have two other colors that are now live on the website. Go check them out. Go pick them up. We will support the, the channel. The link will be right here. Right there. In the description. Right there. And, right and there. If, you, if you slide down on the video and go to the description box. The website will be right there. Absolutely. So we have big plans for in the morning. It is... Don't even tell them. Look at that. Right there. What does it say? 4.24 Oh my god. So, always on the first night at the Rim Corner Ranch, we like it's to stay a, up late. It's a tradition. It's a tradition. We always do it. 4 a.m. That's usually about the cutoff time. We love to get here at the ranch, catch up with Jerry. And just talk hunting, talk stories, catch up, you know, life, whatever. We'd love to have a good time and kick off the weekend or the week slash weekend long of hunting. It is actually Friday now. We drove down here on Thursday and today is Friday since it's obviously 4.30 in the morning or 4.25 a.m. or whatever. We have today, Friday. Saturday and Sunday to hopefully get it done on round two of the black buck hunt. I'm going to share this hunt with you guys regardless. People say that high, fun, high fence hunting is easy and that is simply not the case always. Just because there's corn on the ground does not mean that the animals have to show up. So from past experiences and this is from over two weeks worth of hunting. Jerry and I have, or and even Dylan and, and Rhett too, we've all been sitting in the stand and over about two and a half, three weeks total time of hunting these black buck, we've come to realize that these Indian native animals do not get up and move until the heat of the day. So we're talking, this time of the year, we're talking like one o'clock in the afternoon. And today, for the high, is going to be about, what, 65 degrees or something like that? Yeah, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be around, it's going to be around 65, but it's going to be overcast all day long. Right. Which today, which would be Thursday, it was around 65 to 67, but it was sunny all day long. So, no telling what time they're moving today, but tomorrow, it's supposed to be, I think from like, Eight to noon, it's only supposed to get like four or five degrees hotter. But when one o'clock hits, it's supposed to get up to about 65 to 66. So they're supposed to, they're, I, I think they're going to be moving around one, one or two o'clock in the afternoon. And it's going to be a, it's going to be a one to dark sit yeah, it's gonna to be try a, to, to try to shoot one of them. Right. It's going to be an all day feeding kind of deal just because that's how these black buck work. Now, whether they come in and give me a shot opportunity, I have no idea. But we're gonna we're gonna sit it out. We're gonna try a couple of different setups, 
possibly we're going to try a couple of different stands. We're going to hunt hard. I mean, just like we did the last video, you guys saw where I was hunting black duck. It was five days worth of footage compacted and crammed down into a short little 15 or 17 minute video. So we're excited. We're very excited. And like I said, it's about 4.30 a.m. right now. And we're going to try to get it done. I mean, tomorrow morning we'll probably wake up about noon just because of how late it is. But we're going to kick butt for the rest of the weekend. And we're going to try to get it done. And hopefully I don't have another black buck duck and arrow. And if I get the shot opportunity at 26 yards, um, maybe I'll be able to connect. You never know. These animals are tiny. They're very skittish. They're always on pins and needles, it seems like. And so um, we appreciate and enjoy the challenge high fence or not. And so even though Dylan's just, just going to be running the camera for me this weekend, um, he's also excited. So be sure to check out the Rock Bluff channel down below. And guys, if you want to come and hunt here to hunt basically anything you stink and want, all the information will be down in the description below. Come book a hunt here. Come have a blast. I will come hunt with you. Like, let me know. I will, if you guys book a hunt and you bring a group or even if it's just yourself and you want to shoot some animals, like, let me know. And we will come down and film. What was that? So if you guys want to come hunt here, book a hunt. Jerry's the landowner. His number will be down in the description below. Come check it out. Come hunt the ranch, Axis, Audad, Black Buck, everything, fallow, like all kinds of stuff. Come check it out. And plenty of hogs, of course. Tomorrow should be an interesting day. Hopefully, right there, we'll have a black buck hanging and we can put it in that cooler. Right there. That's what I'm hoping for. That cooler right there. That cooler, that white cooler right there, it should be the ticket tomorrow. That, that I don't know, we're, we're just rambling on right now, so we're fixing to hit the hay, and we'll, we'll catch y'all in the a.m. Well, it's 4.32, so it is the a.m., but we'll catch y'all at about... Lunchtime. About 11 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> that was 
was a solid shot. I know. Yeah. That was a solid shot. I can't get on it. I got the GoPro rolling in here. He got on that air. <laughs> that one didn't duck. No, no he didn't. <laughs> Gonna give him a lot of time hitting in the shoulder. That's right where I was aiming. No, I wanted to put it into that shoulder because, and I, I held low in the armpit too because I knew what was gonna happen. He was gonna duck just a little bit. And 21 yards, right? That's what you can 21, 22 yards, something like that. The last time I was here a couple weeks ago, we had the black buck feet down almost in the exact same spot. They were just on the other side of the Sendero. They were at 26 and I was shot and it completely ducked my arrow. So it feels good to get some revenge, get some payback. I've been wanting a black buck for a long time and we made it happen. We, that was super quick. I mean, we, the four of us jumped in the stand in 10 minutes, I guess it was. We well, were, we, were well done. They would, we had walked out before. He was way down there yeah. when, you, when we were getting out. Yeah, but see, that's what blows my mind is it can happen in 10 minutes like that. But when I was here three weeks ago, it, well, we hunted for five days and, and, and got one opportunity. You know, I, that's freaking nuts. This is our first, like, first afternoon, afternoon set. set. Yeah. I mean, we, we hunted earlier this morning, or not this morning, but earlier this afternoon just to see if they were moving early. And we saw some axis and all that and all, you know, everything just about, but uh, no black butt. And we got up in the stand and it just happened. Like, the, the animals down at the feeder were pushing that black buck up. We had another one come out off over here to our left and um, he didn't stick around. He didn't like something. But uh, that was that was stinking awesome. We're going to give him some time. It's a uh, 4.45 right now. We don't want it to get dark on us. And so I jumped down and checked the arrow out. And it looks like I got pretty good penetration and good blood on the arrow. We followed a little bit of a blood trail to, to the arrow and uh, we're going to give him some time and go take a look and see if we can find him. He's, he's almost spraying now, right? Yeah. Was this successful? Indeed. Let's check out this heart right quick. Unreal. No, I'm not crying. I just my uh, <laughs> my contact's been you're messing crying. with me in my right eye. Is that all right? Are you sure you're not crying? I promise I'm not crying. But uh, getting him all cleaned up and in the cooler. Black buck is some fine eating. And, uh, I'm excited to be sharing some meat because. My freezers typically stay real full, and, um, but I'm going to be keeping some bag straps, and I'm going to grind some up too, and of course lots of steaks. That's the way I like to eat black butt. We, uh, we tracked him pretty good ways, showed you guys the blood. I know a lot of you are going to ask, and so I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that it is a severed broadhead, and it performed um, pretty stinking awesome with the way it glanced off of the leg, as you guys saw. And those blades rotated, went straight through the cavity, and um, it embedded in the opposite side um, leg, and then worked its way all the way back out in the process of that cutting the heart in half. Um, but like I've been telling you guys for, I guess, probably eight months now to a year, if you want to come here and, and hunt and shoot some awesome animals, all the information is down in the description below. I know some of you guys have contacted Jerry, contacted the ranch, and, and booked some hunts, and so that is awesome. I know some of you guys have asked me if I would come hunt with you if you did book a hunt here, and 100% I will be here. You just let me know your weekend or your dates or whatever, and I will come hunt with you guys here at the Real McCoy Ranch and maybe even shoot something myself. But uh, well, always a great time. I gotta say thanks to Dylan right there behind the, the camera for filming this one for me. Over at Rock Bluff Outdoors, so you guys can go check them out as well. But all around, just an amazing time, and I didn't, like I told you guys, I didn't even get to film an intro because it was, we, we corned the Senderos and got the stand, and boom, he was there in front of us. 
and it took us two weeks worth of hunting time to finally put an arrow through one. One miss and a couple other really close calls and a lot of sits where, you know, it just didn't come together for us. But, uh, you know, like everybody says, high fence hunting is real easy. And I will argue with you over that all day long. So with all that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching. I love you guys. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave me a big old thumbs up. And um, share this video. Share this video if you enjoyed it. And so we're going to be, uh, we're starting 2019 off with a bang. And you guys don't want to miss anything. So with all that being said, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Thank you.